Let's begin talking about some reconciliation tips. We have a large difference here we need to reconcile, almost $10,000. The first thing you always want to double check is make sure your beginning balance ties with your reconciled bank statement from the previous month. This is the most common error. This happens when previous transactions that you've already reconciled are either edited or deleted. If you su suspect this is the case, come down here and look at the discrepancy report. This is a premier feature only. This report shows transactions that have been edited after, your last, after you last reconciled this account. Note, deleted transactions will not show in this report. So here, you can glance through and see transactions that have been edited after you reconciled them. In other words, mark them as cleared within your bank reconciliation. This is an excellent report to begin with. We find that almost 70% of differences are resolved here with the beginning balance and the reconcile discrepancy report. Next, at the bottom left of the reconcile window, QuickBooks shows the total and number of deposits and checks that cleared during the month. Compare these to your bank statement. Your bank statement shows you the total deposits and total checks that cleared. Compare these amounts to your bank statement. You have to take into account outstanding checks and deposits both at the beginning of the month and at the end of the month. Next, make sure all checks have been entered. Run the missing checks report and scan for missing check numbers. Let's come here under banking and let's run the missing checks report. Let's come into the banking navigator and let's run the missing check report for our checking account. This is going to show us missing checks. Scan this report. Here's a missing check here, number 129. Scan this report to see what's missing that you may have not recorded within QuickBooks. This report merely looks for gaps in sequence numbers. Here, this column. Next, check for transposition errors by dividing the difference by 9. Correcting this involves comparing each transaction that cleared on the bank statement to the amounts in QuickBooks. What this means is Transposition errors, errors, for example, if this amount here that we entered at 625, if it's actually 652, that would be a transposition error, and that would create a difference that could be divided evenly by 9. So if we took this difference and could divide it evenly by 9, then we have a transposition error, and that requires us to go transaction by transaction to find that error to see which two digits were transposed. Next, do a search for any differences in the account register. Let's come here, banking, use register, and scan the register. Start with the beginning balance, and a good idea, what we recommend, is just to print this register. Put it side by side with your bank statement, and go line by line with what shows in your register versus what shows on your bank statement. And sometimes you need to come up, th this tracks a daily balance here, and your bank statement also gives you a daily balance. What this means is you're almost going to reconcile it day by day. Finally, scan the audit trail report for an amount that equals the difference. We're going to be showing you an audit report later. When we get into that section of the training, then you'll understand how to use the audit report within the bank reconciliation. Let's reconcile our amounts. First, we found that on this deposit here, the owner took it to the bank and got some cash back. Let's double click on the transaction to edit it. Let's come in here and come down to owner's draw. 
the amount of cash back that he received was 808.77. We'll click Save and Close. Yes. Next, we found that this deposit was recorded incorrectly. It's actually 51300 Double click on it and let's change the amount to 51300 and click Save and Close. Now our reconcile difference is zero. Let's click Reconcile Now and QuickBooks congratulates you, tells you your account is in balance. Always print this report a reconciliation report in detail. We're going to display it on the screen here and show you that this report shows you in detail how we reconciled the account. Print this report and keep this with your bank statement. 